Hello, everyone, and welcome to Fearless Fridays. My name is Dr. Benjamin Ritter. I'm a leadership and career coach that guides others to create a career they can love. So if you're a professional, it feels a little bit stuck. If you're looking for a new job, if you're a leader looking to develop as a leader, send me a message. Let's have a conversation. Today, I want to talk about fears. We all have them. They're all within us. But we can choose to either decrease those fears, to face those fears, or to have those fears be magnified, become more fearful of them. And you see there, I said we have the choice. That's because if we don't face our fears, if we make the choice not to face our fears, then what we're doing is we are accepting that fear. We're locking it in. And honestly, we're magnifying it. Because through avoidance, we are actually focusing on it, which gives it more energy, more thought, more emotion, and that fear grows. Now, if we face our fears, then we're not accepting them. We're saying that we want to combat against them. And usually when we face our fears, we're focusing on the reasons why we shouldn't be afraid. We're investing our energy, our thoughts, our emotions into reasons why we shouldn't be afraid. And more often than not, evidence proves that we shouldn't be afraid. But also evidence doesn't really dictate if you should be afraid or not. For example, something as simple as approaching a stranger and asking them a question. You may be afraid of what their response might be. Will they reject you? Will they accept you? Well, you may get rejected at times. People may not want to talk to you. That doesn't mean that the fear is true or should be fact, because more often than not, people will talk to you. So again, evidence doesn't dictate fear. Our choice, if we choose to be afraid of something, does. So how does this affect how you look at your fears? Does this help you pick one and take action towards it? Are you opening up the locked chest of fears that you stowed away that you've accepted as fears, does this help you make a decision to not accept them anymore? If it does, share this bit with a friend. Help them become a little bit more fearless because that's what we're here for, to live more for ourselves and to live fearlessly.